Hi there guys, it's Tian here from Digisoft. Um, my website or blog is on www.digisoft.co.za and if you like this tutorial please go and have a look there are much more free ones there available. What I'm going to do today is to talk to you a little bit about arrays. Um, this is pretty much a beginner tutorial but very useful. Um, so let's just set up this project quickly. You'll have a look, I've got two layers here. The one is where I've got these buttons and text boxes in and then what I want you to do is I want you to click or create another layer, click on that frame and press F9 so that we can type some code into that frame. Okay, the first thing that we want to do is to create our array. Now, can I just quickly say, um, those of you not sure what an array is, it's really, you can think about an array as a placeholder for a lot of variable values. So let's imagine you've got a list of names that you want to store somewhere and you don't know how many names it's going to be. It might be 5, it might be 10, it might be 30 or 50 names. Then you can use an array for that and you can then later uh, shuffle them around. It's going to be placed in a certain sequence. So you'll have something like John and Mike and Tom and what whatever and let's say at a later state, uh, stage you want Mike to be after Tom, you can do that. And let's say you want to insert a name in here, then you can also do that. So I'll show you first of all how we're going to create an array and put some values into that array. And then in another tutorial, probably the one just after this, I'm going to show you how we can do what is called splice. Okay, so let's just first of all, remember this is still in that first, in that frame. Let's just create this array. So I'm going to say var. It's like a variable. Test array. That is the name of the array. So you can give this any name. I'm going to call it test array. Colon. And then we need to say it is an array. Equals to new array. It's not an existing array. It's a new one. Okay. This section here after the, the equals to this new array. I want you to sort of just... Just take that by faith now. Don't worry too much about this. Um, in in later tutorials, I will explain to you why we've got these brackets here and why do we say new array. Okay, that's all we need to do in that frame. You can um, press F9 and then what I need you to do is to call this first text box. Let me just move this down here. The first text box we're going to call fill array with a capital A the first I and this next one we're going to call array output what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the first text box to input the names that we spoke about earlier but it can be anything it can be numbers names whatever you want to you can type in there and in this one the second text box we're going to use to display um, the the list of values that we've got in the array okay so as we add the 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 names or whatever you'll see them appear in this second text box okay so now that we've got those text boxes named let's click on our button and press F9 to open the actions panel and we can go for it on release and we type everything between curly brackets the first thing that we're going to do is to use a method called push the push method okay and this is where we basically gonna place or insert some values into our array and this is very easy I have a look at this test array that's the name of the array dot push okay you can almost think of pushing it into the array and then it's asking you for one parameter and that's the value now you can if you want to um, put a string value in here let's say for example John and it will put that that name that um, John name in there but we don't want to um, hard code that name we want to take the value that has been typed into this text box and put it in there so remember we called this text box um, full array so I'm gonna put in here full array dot text okay so let's quickly run this I'm going to type in the John, click on the button, Mike, 
click on the button again okay and obviously at this stage we can't see anything because um, these values are being placed into the array but we can't actually see what is in the array so let's just quickly do the following I'm just gonna say trace um, and we called it test array so we're just gonna run a trace statement to see what is happening in that array then we run it again type mic and if you oh sorry no that's not gonna work okay you know what I'm actually not gonna spend time on that trace statement now um, I'm actually just gonna add the next line of code where we're gonna um, take the all the values that that is in the, that are in the test array and just display them in the next in that text box okay so what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna say array output one dot text equals to test array dot to string we cast it to a string value okay so all I'm doing here is I'm saying I want you to take this text box array output one and then I want you to display all the values that we've got in our array in that text box now remember this is going to happen every time that we click on this button because this is in the on release function so the first thing that's going to happen is we're going to add a value into the array and then we're going to take the whole array and display it in the text box okay let's hope this works I'm going to run this I really should try some new names Mike okay we're having some problems here let's just quickly see why this is happening um, let me just double check test array mm. okay, I'm just quickly doing some troubleshooting here so I make sure that we've got everything oopsie not full array full array sorry about that <laughs> That's probably why we had a problem with that trace statement also. Okay, let's try John this time. Maybe John is... Okay, there we go. So it's basically showing that John is at the moment the only value that we've got in our array. Okay, then I'm going to say um, Tom. Now we've got the value John and the value Tom. And if I say the faithful Mike, then we've got John, Tom and Mike in our array. Okay, that's totally awesome. In the next tutorial, I'm going to show you how we can um, sort of manipulate this sequence. And let's say we want to insert a value between John and Tom. We can insert it in there. Thanks a lot, and I'll see you in the next tutorial.